So today I'm gonna do something a little different. Hey Michael Glitter Peeps. This is my bag and this is what I will be um, showing you today and all the contents. My name's LaShonda and welcome. Hey Glitter Peeps, it's your girl LaShonda aka Ellie May in Domestic Justice. Today I wanna give you a tour of my purse. It is a Michael Kors purse. Um, it is the tritone. So a little bit about the story is, is that I'm an administrative assistant <clears throat> and so I usually carry the same purse every day. Um, I went through a lot of trial and error trying to figure out which purse I wanted to get. Um, and this one, although I really, really love it, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a top fit, but that's okay because I found some cool ways to fix it. So just by carrying my purse, as you can see, this is the um, two or the double handles here. And if I flip it this way, you can see everything that's on the inside. Um, and this is pretty much stuffed. Not gonna, nothing's really going to fall out of here. So this is all of my stuff that I carry. And I'm going to pull this stuff out one by one in just a minute. But just so you can see a little better everything that I have in there, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about this bag. This bag is a Michael Kors East West Voyager medium. Believe it or not, this is a medium size bag. And this is a tritone. It's got the brown, the, the black with the brown over here. It's got the really light tan over here. Um, with the M, you can see the MK logo here. And then the white on the front. And that's the same way on the sides. I have a pin right there. On both sides and the back is all white. Um, it does have these little belt buckle loops, um, and you've got three that you can choose from. I always put mine on the bottom because I, I usually carry mine, you know, at the, the longest length possible. Uh, it is studded with these um, little brackets here, which makes the inside very sturdy. These pockets aren't very useful because I can barely fit my hand down on either side of them. So on this side, I just have an ink pen on here. And if you did it here, it does have feet to stand up properly. <clears throat> so this is my bag. Um, it's got the Michael Kors. It's got the um, the name here. It's got the um, silver hardware, which is what I really like. I think it's really pretty. Um, so the, the first thing that you see whenever you look into my purse or whatever is this thing. This is the Michael Kors Tritone wallet that matches the purse. Um, it is connected on the inside through this cord or strap, I would say. And it's very easy to take apart or to take off. Just like that. It just clips off like that. And so here is the wallet. So I'll stand my purse back up. Um, this is what I, I've seen this purse first. I think it was at Belts. I've seen the purse first at Belts and I really, really liked it. But I was like, I had just bought a Michael Kors purse. Um, I had just got one to see if I would like them. And this is the one that I had originally bought. Um, and so this is the actual one that I was carrying when I seen that. And I had a, a matching wallet to it, a little lock there. But this is the first one that I had. And I, I, don't, I never really did want to carry Michael Kors because I didn't care too much for the brown and gold. Just, I just didn't like it. I like black and white. Everything that I have for the most part is black and white and gray. That's the other purse. So, I seen that, loved it, and then I went to the Michael Kors um, shop, and I found this. And so after finding this, I just had to have it. I was actually, I already have one like this, only it's a little different, but it's not the tri, um, the tritone. It's um, the regular um, MK logo, but it, the, it is the, the zipper, the double zippers, it's the Adele. And the way it opens it, you know, usually you open a wallet, it snaps on this side, but for Michael Kors, for some reason, it snaps on the back. And I don't have to hide anything because I don't keep my ID right here. I keep a little um, custom sticker made by Capital Chic Designs. Chic Designs, um, Lamika Austin. And that's what I keep the rest of my stickers there. And then I have like my Michael Kors receipts there for my products. A little bit of cash. I don't have a lot of cash in here. It's just like $5 I keep in there. And then... I like to keep my cards, my bank cards and stuff in this zip pouch right here. Because not only do, does it zip, but in order to close it, you have to put that 
that lock right there as well. So it's, it's a little bit more of a challenge to try to get to my cards in there. And up here, I just keep random receipts. If I ever have a receipt or need a receipt, they're in there. So that's the Michael Kors Tritone wallet. Oh, and on here, this is really cool. So because my bag is so big, if I want to go into just run into the store, um, say to the gas station, convenience store, or whatever, I usually use my card and fold it, go in and, and grab something real quick. Or if I need to go to CVS and pick up something for lunch or something like that, I can just grab this, put it on my wrist, and keep it moving. Um, I don't have to, I don't put my keys. So this right here, this strap on the inside is supposed to be for keys, but I really don't need it really for my keys not to get lost because I keep my keys on here. This is my key fob. I have a, um, a 2017 Cadillac XTS, so I don't have to um, to take my keys off the chain. I just grab this whole thing right here, unhook it from its place inside of my, my purse, and I just grab this, and I can go. And I can walk to my car, open it, turn it on, and everything. As long as this is with me, I'm good. So that's help, that helps me keep up with my wallet and my keys at the same time because I can't go anywhere without my keys, and I shouldn't go anywhere without my wallet. So that part so on the inside as well you will see these nice pink rings right here and this let me move that this just holds my happy planner um i am a happy planner girl um i, I thought about doing the other um notebooks with you know the big nice covers and all that stuff but i am an executive assistant and i don't have time to deal with snapping it open, you know, pulling all of it out, finding a place for the cover. I just need to be able to open this, um, handle the business that needs to be handled, you know, take a note, put it down, find a date. And I, I try to use um, all neutral colors on my palettes. And I do use the dividers from my other folders or from my other planners as dividers is what I mean to say. Um, these are kind of raggedy. I am looking for more, so just, it is what it is until I get some. Now, I probably will order new inserts for 2021 for cloth and paper and go with a little bit smaller version of this. Not a mini version, but like the half sheet version, so I'll probably do that. But there's my, 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 my planner. The other thing that was very important for me to have in here and why I wanted this purse was because there's a zipper part right here in the middle this zipper part and this houses um, my iPad. Now, <clears throat> normally I don't have to use my iPad very often, but it is a full on iPad. It has um, the keyboard and the pen. So I needed something that was gonna be able to hold everything. Um, I like to use the keyboard sometimes and sometimes I like to use the pen and I needed a cover for it. So I got the cover actually from Amazon um, and it came with the um, it came with the keyboard, and I had to order the pen separately, of course. So those are the two most important things I really wanted in my purse. Another thing that I have is my umbrella. Can't go wrong with an umbrella. You need that all the time. This next thing that I have right here is um, just for my highlighters. They fit down in this little. It's actually a Scrabble bag. <laughs> Um, with the letters that came in it, and I don't use that anymore. We just put them in a little plastic baggie. So I decided to use that because, you know, we got kids, it doesn't really close all the way. It just kind of like a drawstring, and so the letters were getting out. So I said, I can make use of that. So the next thing in here, I've got, there's like pockets here. There's two pockets here. And um, so here's my, my work badge. I'm not going to show that to you. That's my work badge. And then the other thing that just fell out onto the floor, this is a, um, a very cool little flashlight that my husband got me. It's not big, it's very flat. It's so cool, so I keep that in there. The other thing is um, my business card holder. It is a chrome color. I don't know if you can see what it says, but it has my name and stuff on it. I don't, you can't see it because it's a mirror actually. but. It's just got my business my business cards for work in there. And that's all in that part. Now this zipper part back here, I do have some Kleenex and 
a charger cord that I just keep in here with my um, for my phone and my iPad. I got two of them. And then this, in this last part back here, I've got my glasses. I know it's very unsafe to keep them in here, but they're usually not here. They're usually in the sun, um, the um, sunglass holder in my car. So the next thing that I have that I'm going to pull out, I really, really like this. I had I went back and forth on whether or not I should keep it because I bought it in case I wanted to go to um, lunch on a meeting. But I would care. I would take this particular um, purse out and use it, but. It didn't work out that way. So this next thing right here is the third piece to this set, um, this tricolor um, purse set. Now this is actually a purse, but as you can see, I mean, I've got it stuffed full and all my other stuff is out here. So here's the strap to it. This is the last thing in this bag actually. So here's the strap to it. I don't ever use this. I don't plan on using it, but it's in here if I should or if I do need to use it. It's at the bottom. It just, this just sits on top of it. But inside of here, um, this is where I have all of my toiletries. So I use this as a cosmetic bag. So it just opens like this and in is everything. You can see I've got a brush, hand sanitizer. I've got this which is also from um, Lamika Austin, the lady who made my customs. Um, I think it's so cute, it just fits right there. And I have a few like little business cards in here as well. Not a lot, just like some sticky notes. Um, but that just sits in here and just sits in that little purse thing there. And then I have this, which is a smaller cosmetic bag. And this right here, I love it because it's so long and narrow. This just has lipsticks, eyeliners, bobby pins, nail polish, that kind of thing in here. And you can put like four or five lipsticks and some, and the um, mascaras and the eyeliners in here and they lay kind of flat for the most part because this is so long and narrow. And then the last couple of things I have in here are my deodorant and my full size lotion from Bed Bath & Beyond. I also have some feminine hygiene products in here and I just leave them in the back. There's, there is like this little pocket there. It doesn't zip or anything, it's just a slide through. So I'm able to keep all this stuff in this little thing right here. And it was great because I was putting so many different things in so many different little bags. Even though it looks like a lot, this can be packed in here very quickly and very easily. And I use everything in this particular bag every single day. It just fits in here so quickly and so easily. Just put my brush and my hand sanitizer in there. And I'm ready to go. Okay. And so packing it is very easy too because I know exactly where everything goes. Um, and it just slides in here. Now I'm actually recording on my phone. Um, but it would go in that second large pocket in the back. It doesn't take me long. But again, the most important things that I said that I wanted to have in my in my purse was my planner and my iPad. I may not use them at work every day, but I like to have them just in case I do use this. And so going back and forth, trying to decide what I should do, how I should carry it. And I've just decided that, um, that I would definitely um, want to carry this purse if I'm going to the store. I'm not gonna pull this out. This is just too small. It wasn't, it wasn't going to be able to do what I wanted it to do. So that's just going to be used for my cosmetic bag. And everything, as you can see, just fits in here so easily. Everything just slides right in. And then I just take this and hook my, my um, wallet on, and it just sits right there. So every day going in and out of work, this is what my, my purse looks like. Um, I don't have to worry about taking my keys out because they're right here on my key fob. And um, I'm just really liking the setup that I have. I'm, I'm glad to, um, to be able to have it. So I am thankful for it. Um, so that's it, my Michael Kors bag and the setup. My favorite part, I have to say, the most surprising part was the cosmetic bag because I bought it for one reason and I needed it for another. And I'm just surprised that it actually worked out. But guys, thank you so much for joining me to take a tour of my purse and to see what's in my purse. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Have a blessed and awesome day.